Hello, welcome to FMOD in 2 Minutes, the series for beginners in game audio implementation. Today, we're talking about the spatializer effect. I've got my footstep event here from previous videos. I'm going to right click down here and add an FMOD spatializer. Now, this is the way it shows up by default. Now, what the spatializer does specifically is attenuate the sound to give a sense of distance and panning between a listener and an event emitter in your game engine. The listener being the player's position usually, and the event emitter being a noise or an object emitting a noise in the game, like another character for instance. What the spatializer does is attenuate the distance, so changes the volume depending on the distance from the listener to the event emitter, and also affects the panning depending on the direction. It's important to note that this isn't completely 3D as it cannot give you information if it's overhead or below or coming from behind the player, but for the most part this effect pretty much handles every 3D implementation attenuation um, situation. So if we zoom in a little bit, I'll explain a little bit about what's going on. If you open this drop down menu, you can see a minimum and max distance. Now by default, it shows you this curve. This is the distance attenuation. At this point, we have the minimum and here we have the maximum distance. So at the moment, it's using this scale of one to 20. Now the units they use are not meters, they are units of the game engine. Um, so check your game engine, see how it sounds, but usually it's pretty straightforward. At the moment it's set from 1 to 20, which means we start hearing this sound at full volume at one distance, and at 20 we hear none of it. If I override this, we can change the max and minimum distances as we see fit. Maybe for instance I want to start hearing the sound at 5 units away, and stop hearing it at 10,000 for instance, in extreme cases, whatever it might be. I'm going to leave it at the default for now. You can also see that as I change it, the sound size over here changes as well. And that's simply because as we increase the max distance of the sound, we are also increasing the circumference or the size of the sound as well. Which essentially means that we are stretching out the distance and this attenuation effect over a greater distance. The great thing about FMOD is that I can preview all of this up here in the preview window. I can literally move where the event is sounding and I am always in the middle as the listener. For instance, if I start playing the event and move around the event emitter, I can start hearing panning effects and attenuation occurring, which is great. Going back to our max distances, at the moment I have this set to 20, which means from 1 to 20 I will hear the sound. Now, obviously, if I am previewing up here, the radius at the moment has to be the same it is on 9, so if I push it to the limits, I can still hear something. So let's change the radius to 20 or maybe 30 instead, and then try it again. All of a sudden I go beyond the max distance and I can't hear the sound again. Again, really great way of testing how the sound works in your FMOD project before you push it to the developers. That's it for this video. Check out the next one where I'll go into some more details about the spatializer and how you can use it in your project.